PS Lab Introduction. The PS Lab, also known as the Pocket Science Lab, is an open source electronic debugging and an analytical tool by Fasagia. It comprises of almost all the measurement and analytical instruments we can find in a school science lab and maybe even in a common electronic laboratory in a university. The four channel oscilloscope allows the user to visualize different kinds of waveforms. If one was to buy an oscilloscope for his use it would cost him a fortune. Even the miniaturized pocket sized oscilloscopes are also too much for the price. If you have a PS lab, just a mobile phone running Android or a PC running Linux would be enough. The open source applications developed during Google Summer of Code would help you easily interface a device to use all its functionalities. This video will introduce you to the PS Lab and how to connect it to an Android phone and a Linux PC. The latest PS Lab device has a micro B type USB port. The earlier versions comes with a mini B type USB port. The PS Lab package will include two cables. One is a USB micro B cable and the other one is an OTG cable. Let us see how we can connect the PS Lab to a PC using a micro B cable. First connect the micro port to the PS Lab and make sure it's properly connected. Then connect the USB side to one of the USB ports in PC. As you plug the cable in, you will see two lights on the device has turned on. This confirms that the device has made a connection with the PC and it's ready to function. The next step is to run the PS Lab desktop application. Open the Linux terminal. Type experiments and press enter. It will open the PS Lab desktop application. If the device is properly connected the application background will be bluish. Otherwise it will be reddish. You can see the status of the device on the title bar as well. Let us move on to the Android application. To connect the PS Lab to an Android device we need an OTG cable. First. Plug the micro port of the micro USB cable to the PS Lab and connect the USB socket of the OTG cable to the USB socket on micro USB cable. Now connect the micro port of the OTG cable to the micro port in your Android device. Look for the PS Lab Android application and open it to start using the PS Lab device. You will see the initialization has begun and once it is completed it will display the successful status along with device ID. PS Lab is now connected and ready for function. With that, ends the tutorial video on the introduction to PS Lab. We will show you how to use all these tabs and buttons in both the applications to do various science experiments and debugging in a series of videos following this one. Thanks for watching. See you until next time.